I'm Big C Man. Welcome to YouTube. Look at me. I look like Bart Simpson. <laughs> Alrighty then. And now it's time for everybody's favorite show on Comedy Central by the creators and producers of South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. It's time to discuss South Park. We're going to check out a lot of the South Park episodes that I remember from last year. Last season we ended the South Park episode we ended the South Park episode with the F word where the word was basically F asterisk exclamation point S. <laughs> the truth is um, the F word is a homosexuality term to think of Harley Davidson motorcycle guys as the F word which is the gay word, or whatever. I heard that this was actually a pretty controversial episode that I remember seeing. Okay, in in the season 14 premiere of South Park, the episode was called Sexual Healing. Tiger Woods back then, he was amazing, but nowadays, not so much, actually. <laughs> this is where the boys are about to learn the wonderful worlds of sex education, or sex ed, where we discuss a girl's Harry Bush. Ooh. <laughs> but the truth is, celebrities have sexual problems, including football player Ben Roethlisberger, former president Bill Clinton, and Charlie Sheen. Tiger Woods was such a jerk to his wife. He was like, I just wanted to say, I'm sorry for what I did. I didn't mean it. In the, in the episode Medicinal Fried Chicken, we remember that there was no Kentucky Fried Chicken in South Park. Um, the gay kid Eric Cartman freaks out and Randy Marsh is out of his mind. Randy Marsh wants to smoke weed in reality. But s smoking weed has been around anyway, but it's illegal if you're like healthy. But the truth is... If you want to smoke weed, God, this is the sad part, you're going to have testicular cancer. There, I said it. The funniest part was Randy Marsh actually smoked weed in front of Officer Bar Brady. Look, Jimbo, I'm smoking in front of a police officer. <laughs> Marsh's testicles were so huge. They were bigger than my head. Facebook. Okay. <clears throat> In the episode, you have zero friends. This is where Kyle Braslowski becomes a loser. This is where Stan is about to make Kyle a Facebook page so he can have a hell of a lot of friends on Facebook. Facebook is pretty damn amazing just with like games, Farmville, weird stuff. Yeah, Stan, Stan was against Facebook, and then he got sucked into his own computer, which is kind of stupid. And the scene that Stan was sucked inside kind of looked like a resemblance to Tron and Tron Legacy a little bit. Except he battled against a humongous version of Stan as a clone by playing a crappy game called Yahtzee, and the clone Stan dies. <laughs> Pretty sad, huh? Why are you filming reality shows in New Jersey? Why? Okay, this this episode of South Park is called It's a Jersey Thing is where the South Park members were going insane. Teresa from Real Housewives of New Jersey went out of her mind like in reality, but they made fun of her saying the word muff cabbage. How did she get famous like that? We had the mutants from Jersey Licious and the Jersey Shore cast members, including Mr. Mike Sorrentino, better known as the situation. It's a Jersey thing! Looks like a bad situation. Kyle Braslowski was born in New Jersey. This is where uh, Kyle Braslowski was making fun of like Teen Wolf, where he turns into Kylie B, which is kind of a ripoff of world famous DJ. Pauly D. And then Nicole Polizzi, better known as Snooky, looks like a goblin. It's like, here's my impression of Snooky and her angry, sad defeat. Check it out. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> that 
Thank you, Nicole. And at the end, Bin Laden gets revenge. Season 13 last year, Eric Cartman became a supervillain slash superhero named The Coon. That was the episode of The Coon where he meets Mysterion. I am Mysterion. Those two were so awesome, but those two actually defeated Butters' character, Professor Chaos, and Dougie's character, General Disarray. This is a three-parter. In Coon 2 hindsight, Eric Cartman Barrows the Coon was forming a uh, superhero team called Coon and Friends, and he ends up meeting Captain Hindsight. And uh, they meet this weird alien monster named Cthulhu, which looks pretty scary. The Coon beat the hell out of his friends, kind of looked like a similar relationships to Clockwork Orange. Right, the next bit, Mysterion Rises, where we see Mysterion as Kenny McCormick when their parents were an occult member. The Coon was actually being a jerk to his friends riding on Cthulhu to think he is the good guy. He's not. It's kind of fun just to see a gay bastard ride on a monster from hell. And now the final part, Coon vs. Coon and Friends. Mintberry Crunch, which is Bradley, that's Henrietta's brother, she's the goth chick on the show. The Coon sent his friends to a weird looking hellish type of place. Uh, Mysterion died and then he warped with Mintberry Crunch. <laughs> uh, the Coon and Cthulhu killed um, Justin Bieber. Fans that like Justin Bieber so damn much are basically pissed off. Uh, the Coon was basically being mean and uh, Mysterion and Mintberry Crunch basically defeated Cthulhu and the Coon. I'm sorry to say this, Eric Cartman, the gay kid, deserves to lose. <laughs> My personal favorite South Park episode is Cream Fresh. Cream Fresh. That's a good one. Randy Mars was basically jumping around like a jackass. Again! Where he ends up watching the Food Network for his addiction. There were actual celebrity chefs like Giada, Jamie Oliver, Guy Fieri, I think it's Fieri or whatever the last name is, and everybody's favorite from Kitchen Nightmares and Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay. Oh boy. Stan was basically embarrassed that Randy Marsh makes these awesome healthy foods, well they weren't healthy, and Randy took Chef's apron. You know Chef from South Park? All of a sudden, Randy Marsh wears it, and he basically was a jackass once again. What's kind of funny is uh, Randy Marsh forfeited the competition of the cook-off. I think Gordon Ramsay won. Jamie Oliver came in second, I think. But that, that competition didn't suck. I thought that was funny. Looks like Randy Marsh made sweet love to Sharon. Well, I hope you enjoyed my South Park moments that we discussed. And also, um, check out the Broadway musical, The Book of Mormon, that is produced by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Anyway, check out South Park coming up in April, Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. on Comedy Central. Seriously. South Park is a cool show to watch. I hope you enjoyed that special that I just made. So anyway, enjoy South Park. Thanks for watching my Seaman blog.